Evernote continues to roll out new features. They just made it easier to add information to a note. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, we're going to test drive the new slash command. If you're new to Evernote or want to make sure you're getting the most from the program, I suggest you subscribe to this series of videos and check out my course, Evernote for Beginners. I get a lot of positive feedback on the course and I keep adding updates to it. So you can find out more about Evernote for Beginners at my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on courses. Today, I want to run through a couple of new features and show you how they work. When Evernote rolls out new features, I like to test drive them for a while before I offer thoughts to you. Uh, that's the case with the new Evernote slash command. They rolled it out as the part of the release 10.79.2, in case you're keeping score, and they made some updates in later releases. Now, I love shortcuts in any program. I'm always looking for ways to reduce keystrokes, and that's the idea behind slash commands. Let's see how they work. You're uh, working on a document. If you want to uh, quickly insert information, you simply type the slash key, and it will bring up a pop-up menu for you, at which point you can add a task, a calendar event, a link, a note link, a table, a divider, attachment, an image, a checkbox, you can start an audio recording, you can do a code block, a sketch, or insert from Google Drive. So if I want to insert a, uh, a task, I click on the button, and now I can simply type in the task, and then I have the regular uh, task features involved. The normal prompt on the screen uh, tells you exactly how to do it. So if I'm going along, and as long as I come to a, a new line, it uh, prompts me to uh, use the slash mark to insert one of those elements. Oh, I also want to show you one more thing. If you go to the uh, upper left of your home screen, you see your user's name, but have you noticed that now there's a little bell next to your name? And when you click on it, it is now notifying you of different things that uh, you should be aware of. The Evernote folks are posting little alerts. Here's one that tells us that collapsible sections are now available. Basically, this is where they're going to be posting uh, reminders to us. I think this is really cool. I think it'll be especially nice uh, if and when they get around to allowing us to get other kinds of notifications on the bell. Like, for example, if we set up a task, uh, can we get notified that that task is coming due? That would make it uh, even more valuable. Uh, so I really like this uh, this bell system. I just hope that they, they do expand it in the future. There are some other things that Evernote's rolled out that deserve mention. Uh, you've probably heard that you can now integrate your Outlook calendar with Evernote. I'd love to show you how that works, but frankly, I don't use the Outlook calendar. But once they add iCloud's calendar to Evernote, I'll be the first one to use it. People have asked for more calendar integrations for a long time. So at least now you can add Google and Outlook calendars to Evernote. They've been releasing other new features to Evernote, and I'll be able to demonstrate them for you in upcoming episodes. So subscribe below so you don't miss any of these segments.